happening YouTube welcome back to my channel and I'd like to welcome you to the Pikachu Cup series that uh, will be featuring on my channel so yeah I've been playing off screen for a little while I got hacks to death before um, so uh, yeah and we get an Australian opponent right off the bat because that's interesting so I'm from Australia as well so yeah I was not too happy about getting hacks to death uh, that was just I like literally hacked, hacked, uh, my opponent literally got three sets of crits in a row and took victory away from me. But as you can see on my second screen, my team consists of Emolga, Electrovire, Rotom, Cut, Ampharos, Lantern, and Electros. So up for the dude that's, uh, big Pokemon, I guess. Uh. Okay, I think I'm going to lead with Electrovire. Electros have Ampharos in the back and Lantern. That looks like the best overall mix of Pokemon to bring. So yeah. Okay, so he's got Pachirisu and Rotom, Rotom Frost out. Okay, so... I'm going to go for Rock Slide and uh, Super Fang, I think. What about Rock Slide and Flamethrower? That actually might be... Uh... Yeah, I can flame... I can get rid of Rotom, Rotom Frost that way, actually. Okay, why not? Rock Slide, Flamethrower, which should hopefully get rid of, um... Oh, but Patrice is going to follow me right off the bat. Okay. Uh, Invectivore avoids Blizzard. It's, yeah, it still did a decent, a half-decent amount. Oh, we missed Rotom! That's not good. That's not good. If we get Patrice down to Citrus Berry, I imagine. We burn it, as well. Oh, it's leftovers. Okay, it's not citrus berry like a uh, sage and parks. Okay. All right, that makes up for the um, acts, I suppose that happened before. Let's go for rock slide again, and flamethrower again, I guess. Especially if we can KO Pachirisu this turn, it would be especially helpful. Electra, it's exactly the same as last turn. Except that we do hit Rotom this time. We just barely missed out on taking Pachirisu. It would have been nice if we took out Pachirisu because we would have took out Rotom. We get a useless crit, okay. Okay, so I think it's safe to assume that this uh, Rotom Frost is Scarfed. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to switch in Lantern here. And I'm going to go for a Giga Drain to help me stay alive on the Zeb Striker. As we avoid we avoid Blizzard three times now. Because of me first, interesting. Ah, that's right, Zip Sarko had Sap Sipper. Oh, this is not good. Okay, this is not good. Uh what I will do I think now is go for a stockpile. To beef up my defense. And I think I'm just going to have to let Electros die, unfortunately. I don't think, I don't see, yeah, I don't see Electros doing anything useful from here on out. If I get off a Super Fang on a Zeb Striker, I would be happy. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay, send some P Pikachu. And Zeb Striker just goes to Flame Charge. Okay. Easily takes me out and gets its speed up. Okay.
So I can mitigate this somewhat. I I can deal with it somewhat. I'm going to go into... Uh, Ampharos. But you may have something actually, yeah. To deal with that. So, okay, so I'm going to just go into Electrovire. And I'm going to soak the Zeb Striker here and just protect uh, with Electrovire because he made his fake out with Pikachu. Let's go for Soak. And... I may as well just do the same with uh, Pikachu as well. Or may, may use this opportunity to set my Acro Ring. Yep, Acro Ring and... Uh, go for Rock Slide, I guess. Okay, Rock Slide. Go on to start getting my EQ. <clears throat> he gets a crit. Oh, do you get a crit? I oh, didn't get a crit, thankfully. Okay. He did do a lot of damage with Rock Slide, though. The picture goes for Attract. What Pikachu's trying to do there. Yeah, now it's my lantern's gonna be really annoying for him to take out. I'm gonna skull Pikachu and just protect um, with Electrifier. Well, you do manage to use protect. Awesome. Okay, so you can't can't use me first. I'm thinking, do I go for stockpile again? Yeah, because he's probably going to try and go for me first again. Okay, we're going to switch into Ampharos now. Yep, let's switch into Ampharos. Flame charge. Try to continue to get speed boosts. But he does have a life orb. Okay. The run just goes to toxic here. But I think he's scarfed. Did you show that he was scarfed? Be certain. So toxic this at uh, this late in, uh, late stage in the game is pretty useless to be honest. Um what I will do now is I will go for Scold onto Zeb Striker to knock hopefully knock it out. Or I could go for Soak. Actually, yeah, let's go for Soak onto Rotom. Soak Rotom, that way it's, um, Blizzards won't be doing that much damage. And I'm just going to switch in Electrify here as a Death Fodder. The Lantern is proving to, yeah, pr pretty much be pretty annoying for my uh, opponents to deal with. Me first will fail, Rotom goes for Toxic. That's actually a really good switch for us then, because, yeah, Evi is useless at this stage, so... You don't need it around. <clears throat> I 
here we go. We can get the yeah, we can get Skull off now on Zeb Striker safely. And we can just protect um, the Electrifier. No, he's not to, because otherwise he's going to go for me first. Yeah, so it definitely is Scarfed, okay. Definitely having stockpile on Aqua Ring is actually really um, beneficial on Lantern. Especially with how much HP Lantern gets. You pretty much stall out um, a majority of battles with Lantern. Now he's bringing Ampharos and that should, yeah, that should be game. So I'm just going to go for Skull and for uh, Dragon Pulse. I'll go for HP Ground. Yeah, HP Ground would do. And even if the uh, Rotom Frost goes to Blizzard for whatever reason, I think it is Scarfed, um, still wouldn't do terrible amount with the stab taken away. Yeah, it's definitely Scarfed. It's going to Toxic. <laughs> we get the burn to add insult to injury. That's why I did make I did make water as well, but pfft. yeah, at this stage it's so, it's so late in the game that two you know double team attack will oh sorry pfft, not double team a team up would work anyway. So good game to my first opponent in this series. Uh and now we'll go ahead and find our second opponent. So, that puts our rating up to, uh, just to, uh, yeah, as you can see on the screen, three wins, one loss, 1529. Uh, and, yeah, so, okay, so we get a 1494 rated player from New York, and their team will consist of, what will their team consist of? Electrovire, Electros, Rotom Cut, Electrobuzz, um, <clears throat> Ampharos and Stunfisk. Okay, so Stunfisk, originally I was thinking of using Stunfisk, but I opted not to in the end, although Stunfisk can be really dangerous for the fact that uh, Earth Power is stab on Stunfisk, so that's also something to take into consideration. Um, I do have multiple ways of dealing with Stunfisk, thankfully. Uh, so in, the in like, uh, th for example, Amolga, Rotom, Rotom Cut, and Lantern can all uh, deal with Stunfisk in one way or another. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to lead off with Evire and Electros. In the back, definitely bring Lantern and uh, Ampharos. Yeah. Definitely the correct Pokemon, I think, to pick there. Interesting to see that he uses both Electabuzz and Electrovire. Okay, so I think the safest thing I'm, I can do here is I'm just going to protect here with my own Electrovire and I'm going to go ahead and start getting damage off on that uh, Stun Fisk. So I'm going to go straight for the Giga Drain. Okay, interesting he chooses to withdraw, sends in his own Electros, okay. So I think this ends up being a pretty decent turn for me, I get damage off, which is always nice. And Electros is probably Assault Vested, okay. So now I'm going to go for the, um, I'm going to switch out into... I don't want to switch, do I? Um, it's a matter of who outspeeds. He might be jolly for all I know. So we're going to EQ and going to go for Super Fang. 
on Electros. Okay. Ah, he's faster. Okay. See for that, or oh, he's won the speed tie. Because we are an adamant Electrovire. <clears throat> and we are Life Orb too. I don't, I don't think he's a Life Orb variant, so we may Oko him as well. As we do. Okay. That was a yeah, that was kind of a scary turn, but we do manage to get the KO off. Um, I'm thinking though he's just gonna target my um Electivire. But none of his remaining Pokemon at speed. Electivire. Yeah, he knocks out my Electivire. Okay, that's fine. So pretty much we exchange knockouts on every in on each other's Electivires. Um Okay. Next I think I'll go into Lantern. Pretty much keep that stun fisk at bay. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we can we've got stun fist dealt with here. Um <clears throat> of course we can go for skull. Or I can just go for stockpile. I can start, yeah. I'm gonna start stockpiling up lantern and go for the Giga Drain onto the stun fisk. And we get a crit on um, Stumpfisk as well. Stumpfisk is leftovers. Okay, that's fine. And uh, yeah, here I'm just going for Acro Ring and probably take the Stumpfisk down with another Giga Drain. Yes, I could have taken Stunfist down. That's that is true. Last um, last turn because Lantern does. I mean, uh, Lantern does outspeed Stunfisk. Um, however, I felt more advantages to get my Actor Ring up and my Stockpile up. Wow, I get crits both turns on the um, Stunfisk. Although I think from that range, it don't I don't think it would have mattered. So uh, the Electro Seed just goes to Drain Punch, and I get HP back of Actor Ring, which is which is always nice. <clears throat> okay, so in comes Ampharos, and yeah, I'm going to, the best move I can make, I can go for Soak, to just reduce that um, Ampharos' damage output, and I'm going to go for Super Fang as well, I think. Yeah, let's do that, Super Fang and Soak. Goes to Dragon Pulse, it goes on to Lantern, I think. Yeah. And Electro just continues to go for Drain Punch. Okay. So, what I can do now is I can just Giga Drain the um, Ampharos. It being a water type now is uh, very beneficial to us. So I'm going to do the same to the, uh, actually no, I'm going to scold the uh, Electros and I'm going to just Giga Drain the uh, Ampharos slot. And he just forfeits. Okay, so yeah, I, th I think he realized there that um, he was pretty much stuck in a pretty tight corner. But yeah, that will conclude our first episode. So thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, look forward to many more Pikachu Cup battles on, on my channel. So until next upload, guys, take care.